Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with a, another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today we're taking a real quick look at a switch that I feel kind of just burst onto the scene. We all just accepted it, used it, and moved on. But it's a really good linear switch. It's one of my favorite linear switches and that's coming from a tactile guy. This is the Leo Bog Greywood V3. There is a three and five pin variant, but I actually preferred the three pin variant because one huge thing that I do like about these is that I have quite a few older keyboards that have, that still have the Otemu or the sleeve type hot swap socket. And the Leo Bog switches have those skinny pins that fit right into it. So I have no issue. It's really universal and I can use this with any of my Milmax or Otemu or sleeve hot swap sockets. Now the switch is made out of a PC top and a PC bottom housing with a palm stem and a 19 millimeter spring with an initial force of 30 grams and a bottom out force of 53 grams plus or minus three grams with that long pull this linear has a nice snappy bottom out that's actually quite pleasant not harsh at all And is a switch that mixes quite well with hi-fi layers, the PET and the IXP. I'm not usually the biggest fan of a lightly weighted spring on a switch, but because this one does actually start out really light and end up heavy, and I can feel the difference, I quite enjoy it, and I can actually use this for long periods of time without an issue. So I've gone ahead and loaded up a whole set of the Leo Bog Greywood V3 on this K617 from Red Dragon, a 60% that I have modded previously. I've got, um, these appear to be an OEM die, these are die sub, yeah, it's an OEM die sub keycap set. So PBT die sub OEM with the Leo Bog. Um, I, all the Leo Bogs I've encountered have come uh, pre-lubed. They are lightly lubed, but I have not had one yet that has ping. So if you like a nice, snappy, clacky linear and don't want to break the bank, well, these I've seen them run anywhere from 23 to 27 cents a piece. Um, you should be able to get a whole set of them for fairly cheap. I don't think many people would be dissatisfied with the way they sound right out of the package. They're just ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you with a sound test with this K617 loaded up with the Leo Bog Greywood V3. And until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.